Hi guys, welcome to YSCOM Driving yet again and today we are at the Ferrari showroom in uh, Federal Highway. They have just spent $3.5 million renovating it and we're actually on the first floor looking at this new car that's launched today, the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. Okay, NASA Italia has spent 3.5 million ringgit doing up this new showroom with lots of partitions for privacy of customers and all. Well, to me, it's just one and a half Ferraris before tax spent before you can put a Ferrari up here. So they've renovated it to keep it updated. And uh, this one is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. It's called SF90 because it stands for the 90th anniversary of Ferrari and Scuderia and also Stradale means road so it's the 90th anniversary road version of the car now this is actually Ferrari's first ever plug-in hybrid yes it is Ferrari's first ever plug-in hybrid well the hybrid system gives 220 horsepower but the uh, Base engine is 780 horsepower. It is a V8 and it's a, a 90 degree V8 turbo to boot. So that gets you 780 horsepower whilst three electric motors, two driving the front two wheels and one that's attached to the engine at the back like a regular hybrid motor. And the three of them give a total of 220 horsepower, which gives it a total of 1,000 horsepower. Don't ask me how much is the torque. So drive is all-wheel drive. Uh, the engine drives the the engine and the rear motor drives the rear wheels. These are 20-inch wheels, like in any other Ferrari. But there are two motors up in front, one driving each wheel. So that makes it all-wheel drive because the rear wheels are driven and so are the front the interesting thing is the front is driven separately each motor drives the wheel separately and you get what you call torque vectoring Porsche's version of torque vectoring by controlling the amount of torque going to each wheel you get the torque vectoring effect so in other words if it's turning right it gives you more power to the left hand motor to drive the left wheel and that is the effect of creating torque on the left side. Okay, this shape also generates 390 kilograms of downforce at 250 kilometers per hour. We don't know what is the top speed, but anyway, at uh, speeds up to 210 kilometers per hour, the, this uh, SF90 Stradale has all-wheel drive. After that, the motor shut off and the 780 horsepower engine does its work. Okay. Looking at the wheels you have at the front, of course, these are huge four-port Ferrari calipers with 20-inch wheels. And looking at the wheel, you can see it's very interesting. It's a composite material made of carbon fiber and aluminum, what looks like aluminum. The brakes itself are ceramic brakes, I think carbon ceramic brakes. And you can see the body itself, surprisingly, guys, this is a monocoque body. It is not a chassis uh, with a cladding on top. This body itself is built uh, as a monocoque and it has, it has, uh, it's made of different materials. Oh, that's the, that's the door handle and here's the inside. Now, this is a left-hand drive version. So, looking at it from the outside, you can see lots of carbon fiber. They love carbon fiber because it is very lightweight and very, very strong. And this is the interior. The lighting is not so good, but you can see uh, the steering wheel is uh, flat bottom and or oh, even carbon fiber right up here. And there is the, there is the digital cockpit meter. Very, very nice. Supposed to be 19, 16 point, 16 inch, sorry. And where's the gear shift? This is the gear shift, guys. Oh, oh, it's gated shift. I don't know exactly how it works. We're not going to drive the car. And here, these are racing seats. 
they don't look very comfortable. Yeah, they are not made, made to be comfortable. There is a very, very little padding and of course, carbon fiber is all over the place. Okay, this is a solid roof. There is no, uh, what you call, convertible roof and it's a strict two-seater. Okay, looking at this engine, this is the Ferrari engine, it's a 90 degree V8 and uh, 780 horsepower and it's mounted mid amidships and you can see we are up at the top here and you can see how low down the engine is, it's really really low so look at it man, right at the bottom, I think the engine, the top of the engine where the red rocker cover is I don't think it's more than two feet above the ground so you can you can see that this car is really really going to be very very stable okay so there's the engine and this is the overall height of the car so it's less than half of the car and the driver also sits almost on the floor ground clearance should be around four and a half inches or so and see the exhaust actually the exhaust is at a higher level than where the engine is so this is a very very interesting car and I think if you need to change the park plug, you need to drop the engine on this one. Okay, where are the turbos? We can't see them. They're somewhere down there. And you can see here, that's the exhaust coming up to the back. And the exhaust is really higher than the engine. So at the back, you get uh, four pot calipers and they are also carbon ceramic brakes. Okay, here's another look at the door handle again we press the door handle and before we go into the car from this side the passenger side you can see here these are the intakes and the radiators to cool the engine down sorry yes there is an engine <laughs> yeah this is the part of the car it's actually quite a nice cockpit area very simple but classy Interestingly enough, there is no reverse gear on this car. You just reverse the motor. And so when you're doing in reverse, you actually reversing using the motors on the front wheels, I think. Okay, so how much does this cost, guys? This costs 1.908 million and this is just the base price before options and also before duties. So what will be the actual price on the road? It's more like three and a half million. So if you have three and a half million to spare, do drop by the Ferrari showroom guys and have a look at the SF90 Stradale. Right guys, that's it for the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. Till we meet again, bye bye.